Welcome to chapter 14, the musculoskeletal system. And we will begin with the course objectives. In this chapter, you're going to locate the key bones and muscles of the body, terms related to bone structure, joints, joint movements, and muscles, uh, combining forms, prefixes and suffixes related to the musculoskeletal system, common medical terminology, and abbreviations used in the musculoskeletal system. This is a lot of information in this chapter, so I would read and practice and listen so that you grasp all of the concepts in this chapter. When we talk about the anatomy and physiology of the musculoskeletal system, its functions are to give shape and structure to the body and provide support to allow movement, protection of internal organs, storage of calcium and other minerals in the bones, production of certain blood cells from the bone marrow, and the production of heat from muscles. The body has 206 bones divided into the axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. There are more than 600 muscles and bones articulate or meet at joints where muscles allow for different types of joint movements. Um, additional terms related to bone structure are the cankulous bone or spongy bone, which is a mesh-like bone tissue, the compact bone, which is a harder, denser bone, um, the diaphysis is the shaft of a long bone, um, the endosteum, a membrane within the medullar cavity, the epiphysis is the wider ends of the long bone, and the metaphysis are the flared section of a long bone between the diaphysis and the epiphysis. So here is a diagram showing the external and internal composition of a long bone. The skeleton, we have the axial skeleton, um, includes the bones of the skull, spine, and chest. The appendicular skeleton includes the bones of the upper and lower limbs, the shoulder and pelvis, and the thorax or the chest. Here you can see an anterior view of the skeleton. Uh, we'll start with the bones. The cranium is the um, skull compo uh, composed of eight bones. The mandible, the lower bone of the jaw, the clavicle or collarbone, the scapula, the shoulder blade, ribs are the long curved bones that form the bony wall of the chest, the sternum, the anterior bone of the thorax or breastbone, the humerus, the bone of the upper arm, the vertebra are the bones of the spine and there are the cervical vertebrae or vertebra, um, C1 through C7, the bones of the neck, the thoracic vertebrae, T1 through T12, um, bones of the midspine, and the lumbar vertebrae are the L1 through L5, bones of the lower back. Uh, the vertebra also includes the sacrum, which are five fused vertebra below the lumbar spine, and the coccyx, which are four fused vertebra at the lower end of the sp spine below the sacrum, often called the tailbone. Here is a diagram of the vertebral column. The pelvic bone, uh, the hip bone, is composed of three fused bones on each side. The ischium, um, which is the posterior lower section of the pelvic bone, <coughs> excuse me, the ilium, the upper section of the pelvic bone, and the pubis, which is the anterior lower section of the pelvic bone or the pubic bone. The radius is the outer two bones of the lower arm. The ulna, the more inner of two bones of the lower arm. Carpal bones, the eight bones of the wrist. The metacarpal bones are the five bones of the palm of the hand. The phalanges are the bones of the fingers and the toes, and there are 14 in each hand or foot. 
The femur is the bone of the upper leg. The patella is the kneecap. The tibia is the larger inner bone of the lower leg. The fibula is the smaller outer bone of the lower leg. The tarsal bones are the seven bones of the ankle. The metatarsal bones are the five bones of the foot. Uh, the calcanus is the bone of the heel. The joints terms you need to know are articulation, the site where the bones come together, the bursa or a fluid filled fibrous sac within some joints, um, cartilage, the dense connective tissue attached to bone in many joints, and the synovial joint, uh, diarthrosis uh, is a joint that moves free, freely, the joint cavity contains synovial fluid. The knee is a synovial joint, and you can see the diagram there, and there's going to be some questions about each of these components um, on, on at least your quiz or exam. Uh, continuing on with the joints, uh, intervertebral um, disc um, are the plate-like structures of connected tissue between the vertebrae. A ligament is a band of strong connective tissue joining bones. The meniscus is the cartilage structure in the knee. A suture is an immovable, immovable joint, such as that which joins the bones, the bones of the skull. Uh, symphysis, a jo joint that moves only slightly. Synovial fluid is the lubricating fluid in a freely moving joint. A tendon is a band of fibrous connective tissue attaching a muscle to a bone. Joint movement, terms that you're going to have to become familiar with is abduction, moving away from the midline, and adduction, moving towards the mid midline, inversion, turning inward, eversion, turning outward, dorsiflexion, bending your foot upward, plantar flexion, bending the foot downward, extension is a motion that increases the joint angle. Flexion is a motion that decreases the joint angle. Pronation is turning downward, um, usually referred to for a palm or a sole. And supination, same thing, turning upward for a palm or a sole. Circumduction is moving in a circular manner. Rotation, moving in a circular direction around an axis. And here you can see a diagram showing some of those um, types of movements. Types of muscles um, are the cardiac muscle or the heart muscle. Smooth muscle or unstriated muscle is a type of muscle not under voluntary control but present in internal organs. Skeletal muscle or striated muscle refers to the muscle under voluntary control. Striated refers to the light and dark bands and muscle fibers. And here you can see the different types of muscles, the skeletal muscle, the smooth muscle, and the cardiac muscle. Um, additional, um, when we talk about types of muscles, an um, agonist is the skeletal muscle that creates movement by contracting a prime mover. An antagonist is the skeletal muscle that opposes an agonist muscle and relaxes when the agonist contracts. Other terms related to muscle, the fascia is a sheet of connected tissue covering a muscle. Um, the fascile is a bundle of muscle fibers. Insertion of muscle is an end of muscle attached to bone that moves during contraction. The origin of muscle is an end of a muscle attached to a bone that does not move during contraction. Tonus uh, refers to muscle tone. And here you can see an additional diagram of the structure of a skeletal muscle, including the muscle fiber, the muscle facile, the body of the muscle, the tendon, blood vessels, and then the bone. And we can see that muscles are attached to bones by tendons. You can see the origins, the tendons, the biceps brachii, uh, the insertion, and then the radius ulna, uh, and the humerus and the scapula. Combining forms that are going to be important in this uh, system are ankylo for stiff, arthro or articulo for joint, 
verso for bursa, carpo for carpal bones, chondro for cartilage, clavico or claviculo for clavicle, cervico for neck, costo for rib, cranio for cranium or skull, disco for disc or disc, fascio for fascia or band, from femoro for femur, fibulo for fibula, humero for humerus, ilio for ilium, ischio for ischium, kinesio or kineto for movement, kypho for humpback, leo for smooth, lamino for lamina, lordo for curved or bent, lumbo for lumbar region or lower back, mandibulo for mandible, maxillo for maxilla, menisco for meniscus, myo or myso or musculo for muscle, myelo for bone marrow or spinal cord, osteo for bone, patello for patella, pelvi or pelvo for pelvis or pelvic cavity, phalango for phalanges, pubo for pubis, rachio for spine, radio for radius, rhabdo for striated muscle, sacro for sacrum, Scapulo for scapula, scolio for crooked or twisted, sterno for sternum, synovio for synovial joint or fluid, tarso for tarsal bones, teno or tendo or tendino for tendon, thoraco or thoraso for thor the thorax or chest, tono for tone or tension, ulno for ulna, and vertebro or spondylo for ver uh, vertebra. Prefixes that you're going to see is inter, between, intra, within, supra, above, sub, below, or beneath, sim or sin for together or with. Uh, suffixes, uh, asthenia for weakness, uh, clasia or clases or class for to break, desis for uh, surgical fixation or binding, physis for growth, plasty, surgical repair or reconstruction, uh, raffi for suture, schisis to split, um, adjectives and other rela related terms. So uh, costo vertebral, it means pertaining to the ribs and the thoracic uh, vertebrae. Iliofemoral, um, pertaining to the ilium and the femur. Um, intercostal, pertaining to the area between the ribs. Intervertebral, pertaining to the area between the vertebrae. Intracranial, pertaining to the area within the skull. And ischiofemoral, for pertaining to the ischium and the femur. <clears throat> Lumbocostal, for pertain pertaining to the lumbar vertebrae and the ribs. Uh, lumbosacral, for pertaining to the lumbar vertebrae and the sacrum. Osseous, means pertaining to the bone. Sacral vertebral for pertaining to the sacrum and the vertebrae above. Sternoclavicular uh, for pertaining to the sternum and the clavicle. Submandibular for pertaining to the area below the mandible. Submaxillary is pertaining to the area below the maxilla. Subscapular for pertaining to the area below the scapula. Substernal for pertaining to the area below the sternum. Subrapatellar or suprapatellar for pertaining to the area below the patella. Suprascapular for pertaining to the area above the scapula. Synovial pertaining to and containing uh, or consisting of synovial fluid. Symptoms and conditions related to the bones. Uh, Cranioschisis is a congenital incomplete closure of the skull, a curvature of the spine or abnormal curving of the spine in one or more directions can be kyphosis, which is the abnormal forward curvature or a humpback. Lordosis is the abnormal backward curvature or scoliosis is an abnormal lateral curvature of the spine. So here you can see normal, the kyphosis or humpback, the lordosis, and then the scoliosis. Um, can, can these cause pain and disfigurement. Um, symptoms and conditions related to bones continues. A fracture or FX is a break in a bone or cartilage. 
maxillitis and inflammation of the maxilla osteo or osteitis is an inflammation of the bone osteomalacia a condition of softening of bones and osteoporosis the age-related disorder of decreased bone mass and